for anyone coming to lunch, Mrs. Atten. No, only Mr. Driscoll, the lawyer. I cancelled everyone else. I thought Miss April would prefer it. It was a beautiful service, my dear. I'm sorry you couldn't be there. How could you let me oversleep like that this morning? Please. Don't you remember me trying to waken you? No, I don't. That's hardly surprising. What do you mean? Stop pretending, April. I told you last night I didn't approve of drinking in this house. Drinking? I took an empty brandy bottle from your bedside table this morning. Well, I... Well, I, I just got that for the plane because I was sick. I only had a little bit. Are you crazy? You seem to think I am. I tell you... April, how could you do this? You're making something out of nothing. The whole thing's ridiculous. All I know is I couldn't waken you. When I saw that bottle by your bedside, I knew why you slept so soundly. Will you stop that? I did not drink that brandy. I'm sure I didn't it drink it. It would be easy to lie to me, April. I'm not lying to you. I want to believe you. But I went through a lot with your mother, and I don't want to go through it again. Look, stop talking about my mother. Then don't remind me. Oh, my dear. I don't want to quarrel with you like this. If I've misjudged you, I'm sorry. Don't resent me. Don't hate me, my darling. Someone we both love has just died. And we must stand together, not apart. I can't believe it. I've never overslept like that before. What did people say? What did you tell them? That you were tired and grief-stricken. And that they understood because they were all grief-stricken. Just as I am and always will be. 